been doing a lot of stuff, uh, helping out a friend uh, with her project, um, editing some some photos and and you know suggesting some ideas and things like that. And I've also been watching some TV, grab some lunch, clean the room up, do some laundry, things like that. And during the course of this time, uh, on my Instagram, a random person uh, liked a photo of mine. <clears throat> And uh, it was uh, one night, it was two days ago uh, that after I left work, um, I got triggered. I hadn't got my hair cut in two weeks because I was traveling to see the Broham. I took a picture, uh, you know, and posted it on my Instagram. And I got, there was this uh, like from, <clears throat> uh, I am fighting with you. I checked it out and it says, I'm on a mission to help our nation's heroes with PTSD. Visit our site to learn more. We have a support form for veterans and spouses to help each other. It, it's a great idea. Um, it, it sounds like it just started. And uh, this young woman is uh, doing this because for her husband. And I think it's a great thing uh, when spouses want to, you know, do stuff and, and to help to help out, uh, you know, their spouse who is struggling with the PTSD. So if you want to check it out, um, <clears throat> I'll link it in the description below. Um, it's uh, www.iamfightingforyou.org, you know, and it was and, and it's pretty awesome, you know, because the VA. If any of you have ever been through uh, the struggle with the VA, it's tough. There's so many like loopholes and back alleys, and even if you have it all figured out, there's still roadblocks in the way, and there's no like instant access, and that's the, I believe for me personally, that is the most daunting thing ever. Like, yeah, you can be patient. You know, um, when you're not having any issues, when you're not dealing with it right at that moment. And that's not always the case, you know. There's a lot of times where it just hits you. And you can't rely on the VA or any of the VA resources to help you right then and there. So a lot of times, you know, uh, veterans and, and other people with PTSD, you struggle, but you find your own way through. Uh, mine is I watch I watch movies and I watch TV, but that's also what I did to kill time when I was overseas, um, when there was any kind of downtime, um, and it was I, it was available, you know, like Wi-Fi or something like that, or or a um, bazaar, I get some uh, Hodge copies or something like that. I was watching movies, watching TV, just basically zoning out. And I know that's not a good thing. Um, and so I'm trying to turn it into a positive for myself, and that's why I'm doing the channel, learning as much as I can about um, filming. I've always been interested in film, but I was always too scared to try anything and go forward with that. So, um, so far, um, I've stuck with it, and it's it definitely keeps me uh, centered and balanced. I was checking this out, and uh, I, have, I haven't mentioned it before, I watched Casey Neistat videos uh, on YouTube. Um, I stumbled across them a while back and I was like this is amazing and I was just watching one that he had uploaded a while ago um, and it was it's called that time in Afghanistan and I will link that again in the description below because um, he spent uh, a week out there doing this project um, you know to tattoo uh, soldiers uh, you know in a combat zone um, he was talking to uh, a buddy of his uh, Roger who is a pararescue guy and so linked a whole bunch of stuff and come to find out that Roger let me pull it up here his name's uh, Roger Sparks and he has an Instagram as well and it turns out that he does tattoos now um, and he literally said in this in this uh, Casey blog that it's because of that uh, that week that he spent, he, you know, they got tattooed, uh, like right after they did a mission. And I'll tell you what, man, <clears throat> if I was able to get tattooed, uh, while I was over there after a mission or pretty much just any time when we lost somebody, I definitely would have a lot more tattoos than I have now. And so I was checking out his Instagram, looking at his work and, and honestly, like, like I, I don't know exactly how long he's been tattooing, probably for a while now. Cause this Afghanistan was, uh, what, like five years ago, something like that. Um, but his work looks amazing, and the fact that he's a he's a combat vet doing doing these uh, tattoos um, is like it's inspiring. So if you go to rogersparks.net, I'll link it down below. Um, you come to the page and it says Cathartic Ink 
by Roger Sparks, and he uh, tattoos out of Alaska. And I've been basically on standby, uh, waiting to find somebody that could do my tribute tattoo um, with the emotion and the feeling and, and the, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, just somebody who would understand what it was they were tattooing. Um, not just understanding that they're tattooing on somebody's body and they're like, oh yes, I enjoy tattoos, but somebody who, you know, will get the meaning behind why I'm getting this particular tattoo. And <clears throat> I think I found the guy. I've always wanted to take a trip to Alaska. Uh, me and the Broham, it's been a dream of ours to go spend some time in Alaska. Anyways, back to it. Cathartic, Cathartic Ink by Roger Sparks. Um, <clears throat> I'm definitely, definitely uh, going to make this trip happen to Alaska. Um, one, just because I need it. Listen to your own gut and do what you need to do. For me personally, this is something I need to do. Because I've been waiting to get um, my tribute tattoo uh, for a brother of mine who was killed uh, a year to the date after uh, basically I should have died. It's been about eight years and it's this, this tattoo, I don't take any of my tattoos lightly. Um, but this tattoo I've definitely, definitely have had patience with because I do not, I wanted to, you know, the whole experience, not just from my end, but from the, the, the artist's end as well, to, you know, give it the meaning that it, that it, it should hold the entire experience on a, you know, 360 degree uh, swivel should be that. You know, you like tattoos or whatever. I definitely think you should check uh, check them out. Um, also check out uh, that other page. I'm fighting with you, and if you haven't caught on or saw anything, um, the uh, hashtag I got your six tattoo um, is a is definitely definitely a good thing. You know we got to support each other um, and 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 reach out. Basically, all these guys we all join the military, um, and <clears throat> you know we all go through our own stuff. And even with being that close, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like reaching out or you feel like you can't tell after the fact, different things like that. If that's the case, you know, um, I, I, I get it and I understand. Um, but from me to you, please don't let whatever's going on, whatever triggered you or anything like that, don't let it make you become one of the statistics. One of those 22 a day veterans that commit suicide. People care about you. Shit, I don't even know you. Okay, but if you hit me up, I got your back. I got your six. We're gonna take care of it. We're gonna get through it. If you can make it through that and know that people have your back, that you have their back, and for the basically for the simple fact of so everybody gets home, so everybody makes it back, <clears throat> then you have the mentality, you have the training, and, and you understand what it means. Step up and do your duty for yourself now because you did your duty for everybody else. You know, you fought for your country, you fought for the rights of all Americans, and now it's time for you to fight for yourself. But you don't have to do it alone. Like, uh, share, subscribe, whatever, but really, I appreciate your comments. That's what I want to see. Um, you know, spread the word. Keep spreading the word. Uh, even if you feel stupid about doing it, I feel kind of retarded doing this. I felt compelled to um, share it. Look out for each other. Look out for yourself. And I'll see you guys next time.